Hi guys, and we are in upstate New York with Letha Wilson and her studio. It's so exciting to actually get it, be in an artist's studio. Mm -hmm. So Letha, tell us what we're looking at. So, thank you for being here. Um, so, uh, these are a couple pieces that are sort of a process I've been working with for many years. Um, I'm really interested, all, basically my work is taking landscape photography as a starting point for sculptural works where that photograph is really pushed, pulled, um, tortured sometimes, and kind of questioning what is a photograph and how can this image be more present, um, come alive with these sort of physical um, gestures. So I, these are actually, um, so they're all the photographs in my work are photographs I've taken, often from travels in the, in the US West. Um, I grew up in Colorado, so, but I love going to Utah, Nevada, um, in this sort of, very iconic Western landscapes. Sort of God's country. Yeah, no this man's sort of land. sublime where yeah. you really can't take a bad photograph. <laughs> so exactly. It's kind of like doing the work for you. So when I started, um, some of my, early, you know, after grad school, I started printing in the dark room, color dark room, because to me it gave me more freedom in terms of not, you know, I could just always make more and it was actually more affordable to make a lot. So. I really started pushing like what's possible with this material, the C print, and started working with concrete and photographs in about 2010, kind of earnestly, and really sort of went down this road of discovery as how well these materials can cohabitate. I'm really interested in concrete as sort of resembling rock, but being man-made, linking to the landscape of the cities. You know, I lived in New York City for 20 years, so. That was sort of my landscape, um, but always of course, thinking about concrete Colorado, jungle. Always thinking about Colorado and these sort of back and forth moments. And um, so this is these are two works with uh, C print and photo um, concrete. Um, this one I folded the photograph first in kind of an accordion fold, Let's go in. and then poured concrete on the back and then on the front. Um, and then this one is sort of multiple layers with different color added. This and, one is beautiful. And there's so much in the process that I can't control. So there's a lot of aha moments and kind of letting it go and gravity, making decisions. Um, the plywood from the mold I made, you can also have that texture here. So there's always this sort of surprise when I, even when I open them. Uh, <laughs> even though I've been doing it for so long, it's like... It's kind of a fun discovery, <laughs> no? Yes. Um, it's like putting something in the oven and not being sure what's going to come out, <laughs> kind of. Like hoping. But yeah. yeah. After making it, making works like this for so many years, like I've gotten pretty good at, sure. at getting a little better at it. But um, other, um, on the other hand, I also make works that are more planned and more of a gesture, a, a sculptural gesture rendered. This is actually a maquette for a public art project I'm working on. Um, and, and these like are maquettes for outdoor pieces. So now with technology, I'm able to do, use UV printing onto metal. These would be printed onto steel. Um, this is a small little sample. Awesome. Cortez steel. So these go outside and these can get quite large to 10 feet tall. And really then that's a whole other conversation of those images then going back into nature. Of course. And with the seasons and having a really human scale. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's taking nature, putting it on something non-organic and then putting it back into the organic environment and seeing what transpires yes so um do you want to tell us a little bit about this new process oh, sure. so something relatively new that i've been working on is combining the concrete with the c print but then uv printing on top of it so i poured this in this in aluminum frame and then this is sort of a test piece for what kind of moves i can do and how it will look um but that's a new process um, and it can actually go extend to the edge of the frame and kind of bring the frame in as part of it. It's all encompassing. It's really beautiful. So that's been exciting. And do you want to tell us anything else that you're working on? You're doing a project for a school in Brooklyn. Yep. Public art a project for a school in Brooklyn and also working on a outdoor sculpture that will be a public sculpture in the city of Las Vegas. So Wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks again.